Hi, this is Rage Table. I'm Tom. He is an evil genius white. Hi, I'm Big Mike. I'm the, I guess, manager of D20 Live, and I do improv comedy with the 404s. I'm Cold Strangler. Shut up! Hi, I'm Chris Ho. I run Vangelist.ca, Vangelist Central Vangelist Reviews on YouTube. I like toy collecting, and I also like improv, and I also like books, and, and I'm big on card games, also video games, and I'm a beauty vlogger. Hi, I'm Derek the Bard from Chase of the Muse and Terrible Warriors, and I'm a consummate professional in the fact that I am not going to say anything dumb. Who's a wazzle raspberry fuzzle? <laughs> <laughs> we are playing Studio B from the makers of Channel A. Uh, basically, we're all television producers trying to pitch our show ideas for a B movie from a cheap studio. Yes. Okay, so I have five premise cards. I'm going to pick two. Yeah. These are. I just see fun words. I don't know how terrible it's going to be if I use this. Uh, I do it. That's okay. It. Don't look um, away. Look into the eye of darkness. <laughs> no, this is terrible, man. guys. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Come on. Give it. Give okay. it. Give it. Give it. Giant monster. Yeah. Giant monster. Orientalism. All right. right. I've won. Okay. I'm sorry. In the lands of the East, <laughs> there is an ancient legend of a martial arts style. It's the dinosaur devil master martial arts style. There can only be one dinosaur devil master, and their power is great, for they fight the mighty kaiju. Okay, <clears throat> I'm here with a pitch, mm -hmm. and I think you're all going to love it. We're thinking giant monsters, and we're thinking orientalism. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh -oh, Reggie, prepare for the master of giant monsters, the one of ones, Dr. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> King of Ones. <laughs> Dr. Han's nefarious schemes stretch from the rising sun to the setting moon. And there are no ones for whom he is not the king, for his hand is the doctor's hand. Okay, well, um... Alright. What the hell? Okay, so I guess it's my turn? Yes. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for seeing me, Mr. Saban, and I, 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 I'm given to understand that you're looking for new properties for adaptation into Power Rangers, and I know that this isn't actually a Power Rangers property, but I think you might still like it anyway. Um, so, in Japan, they made this kaiju film, and it's the strangest kaiju film ever, but you've been wanting to talk about how you want to make, you know, more LGBT-friendly programs oh, and God. stuff, um, and I think this is perfect for you. The Atomic... Beast Bride of the 50-Foot Woman. <laughs> can, can we get, can we get it that when this is in post, you can have the dun dun da after time every title goes up? They're all dressed in pink, right? Uh, obviously, sir, because okay, that's, that's what ladies wear. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, it's time for the Sailor Stars in there. Now everyone needs to vote, so I'm gonna count. Oh, I'm, to, I'm gonna count to three, and then everyone po points to the pitch that they like the best. Okay, I'm gonna get no votes, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Holy shit! I got a vote. Oh my god! I think Chris wins literally by one. Yeah, by one. I, 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 I felt pitch. that Chris's title was a little bit incoherent. Oh, fair. <laughs> That's what I loved about it. <laughs> yeah! Are, are you telling me, Tom, that you didn't love the atomic beast pride of the 50-foot woman? Oh, I loved it. I don't think, it's I, don't think I could love anything as much as I love Dr. Hand, King of Ones. <laughs> okay. Uh, your premise is space exploration. I'm putting it that way for the camera. Yep, that's, that's a good idea. And okay. mad science. Space exploration, mad science. Yeah, those were the two most interesting ones. Gone so up okay. to four? Yep, no, my, my goal is to use, it, is to use the maximum number of cards for every title. That is a good tactic. Alright, um, I've been asked to come up with some hot new property in the realm of space exploration and mad science. Yeah. Two things that go together real well. So uh, we're going to do a reality TV show. Yeah. Uh, we found uh, the greatest mad scientist fa family, the Lepus family. Uh, so our show is called Cosmic Brain Leapus Factor. <laughs> they're pretty cosmic people, and they're smart. So we're going to get into the cosmic factor of the brain leapus, which is basically... CBLF? Yeah, CBLF is the, it's the acronym. It's, it's, uh, it's co Cobra Luckfac. <laughs> Cobra Luckfac, okay. Uh, it's going to be pretty great. We're going to put them in situations where they're uncomfortable. At some point, one of them's going to take their clothes off. Sounds like you're just burping <laughs> off Lost in Space at this point. Well, it's Lost... <laughs> In space. 
Get it, right? Yeah, I got it. We're gonna have a mystery every season. What's the what's the cosmic dust monster? Who cares? What the hell is the plot? We'll make it a ketchup packet if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see I see that you've definitely gone to the uh, the Sapphire and Steel School of Special Effects. Yeah, the you know. spot on the floor was the villain all along. That's what it's <laughs> It's gonna be about a group of people. And they've been ripped from their original bodies. They've been given strange abilities. And now they haunt the cosmos. They move from corpse to corpse. No one can stop the bleeding mutant corpse travelers. <laughs> that sounds like a band. I got it from uh, all my work promoting heavy metal bands. Yeah. So, I, I remember I went to one of those, uh, the bleeding mutant uh, corpse, corpse travelers. Corpse traveler. Yeah, I got sprayed with awful uh, spaceship. Or completely abandoned. A derelict, it's just uh, hovering through, and one brave scientist sets out to um, to, to investigate the ship. He goes on to a cohesive man. <laughs> this plot makes too much sense. Yeah, man. Oh, just wait, just okay. wait. What does yeah. the lead actress take her top off? When so the scientist goes on to this big ship, which is actually just a big flying dome, and he finds that all the aliens have died, and um, they can only communicate to him as ghosts. But he, he's using Edison's technology to help him communicate with the dead. Um, you mentioned the Edison death machine. You have my full attention now. See, he's trying to fulfill Edison's legacy. This is Haunted Legacy Dome. Okay. Is there brain in the dome? No, no, there's there Edison. Dome. One, two, three. Oh, shit, that's there's a tie. Like a, oh, that that's a tie. That's two, two. Yeah. That means you each get one. Okay. Hey! Okay. All right. Friendship. Here. Oh. Well. Okay. I need to do this. It's too obvious. Okay. Here we go. Go for it. All right. Go for it. I Give want you guys that. to cross these two premises. Yeah. Barbarians. Yeah. And cute animals. <laughs> oh, I. Oh shit. Here we go. All right. Okay. Over so depression. now, what what I'm thinking of is a found footage film. All right. And it's the, you know the. The, the portal to the apocalypse has opened up, and the barbarians have come through, and they're riding these gigantic, adorable creatures across the United States. They are burned by the light of the sun. All right. They have to hide out during the day. Did you see the vampire it was one of the cars I put away? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. It's pretty crazy. However, I present to you our, our found footage feature, Creature USA After Dark. All right, all right, I see this. Okay. I see this. We can get, we can get some of that. Uh, I ran out of really good cards on the first two premises. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> I, it's... Let me set the scene for you guys. All right. Okay, a ship. The traveling by the Bermuda Triangle. Something goes awry. The compass stops working properly. It goes off, uh, off kilter. Big storm. When it clears, they've crashed on an island. They don't know where they are. Could be, could be Africa. Be somewhere. It's Africa's a well known island after yes, all. Yes. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. Africa. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of Ireland, this Ireland, planet Africa. that might not be explored as of yet. And on this island are all kinds of cr creatures that people haven't seen in years, including some things that may actually be some form of dinosaur, but very small and cute. But there's also roving barbarians, Amazons. Alright. And some of them take their top off. Well, okay, yeah. let's, hear, let's hear the idea. I can't beat and Amazon's I bring you the tops off. Forbidden Fate Lagoon of Death. Oh, man, that means that the fate is death. It is. That's intense. All right, I'm digging this. I'm not sorry for what I'm about to do. <laughs> <laughs> I might be. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Journey Claw. <laughs> I'm from outer space. And I've traveled to this here world, Earth, so that I can make friends. But it was a massacre. When we landed, it was the barbarians who came to fight us. So now Journey Claw has given up his ideals of youth to fight the barbarians. As Journey Claw from space, massacre. I see the colon. Thank you. <laughs> it's like that. That's a pretty nice colon. Thank you. Yes. Right well, there. that's just right, just right there. Just, a, just a, <laughs> we, we, we've we've got just into a very a, very strange trauma film here. You know the kids will love it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Ow.
now. You unanimous. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you pointing at me? Yes. Oh, so oh, it's, it's a tie, tie again. Oh, okay. Oh. The problem, there are only four of us at the table. <laughs> you heard about Harry Potter. You heard about ice road truckers. I did. <laughs> I give you the premise of our new season, Wizardry Truckers. Oh. Okay, so I guess I'll go first. Do it. Okay, so we open with this uh, trucker, and he's in like the twelfth straight hour of driving, and he stops in this little town of Louisiana, and uh, he picks up this hitchhiker who's actually a voodoo priest, and uh, they're about halfway down the road to the next stop. Um, something goes, something goes badly between the two of them, it's like a uh, cross wire or whatever. He ends up dead. Um, the, the voodoo priest runs away when he hears cops coming, but he leaves behind his voodoo doll, and the spirit of the trucker goes into the voodoo doll and comes to life and starts driving trucks all over the country looking for new hitchhikers to pick up and possibly get revenge on the one that killed him. I, I'm, I'm interested. So far, give me a title. Outlaw Doll. Okay. okay. Oh, gee, I can sing the song for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outlaw yeah. Doll! So, you know what truckers are? They're unchained, man. <laughs> They're not tied to the world. Uh oh. It's almost. But here's the thing. Match. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Magic, <laughs> magic, man. Magic is unearthly, man. It's like a nightmare, man. And it conquers. So magic truckers are the unchained, unearthly nightmare conquers. What the hell did I just say? What is the premise? I don't know! Said a bunch of I things. don't know! <laughs> I'm tired! <laughs> Basically, they're just magic truckers, but All right, they're, Mike, they're, they're conquering the world. Big Mike's a has-been, gotcha. <laughs> so His best days are behind him, time to put him up to pasture. Up your butt, I'm sure. He's got a huge cigar. Like, I, I this is what I thought of, alright? <laughs> <laughs> this would have worked like aces in the 70s. <laughs> alright. Chris, stop the leg and pitch your show. Alright, so, we all know that truckers like to headhunt Gila monsters. <laughs> of course! It's a basic trucker fact. It's been on TV for decades, and it's getting old. So I figure, hey, let's get uh, some goils in there. You know, get some of that uh, empowerment, and also get them to not wear many clothes so the guys can <coughs> watch it. Okay. Alright? And then, hey, what if we, we, we work in the mystical, alright? What if it's mystical Gila monsters? All right, what if it's magic Gila? What's more magic than dead Gila monsters? Dead Gila monsters would have still alive, all right? all right? What's the state between life and death? You all know what I'm talking about. We're going to have us some Gila monster ghost bikini headhunters. <laughs> Money prints itself. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> okay, point to the person you're voting for. One, two, three... Oh, another tie. No, it's three for Chris. I was, oh, I think you're pointing at me. Never mind. I'm, I'm pointing at you because I actually really like the character of the guy just breaking down. <laughs> he's got nothing. It's just like, I have these words, and fuck it. I don't care. I used to be a giant in this industry. Yes, I wasn't being method at all. You can't talk to him like that. He's a giant. A giant, I tell you. He's a legend. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Everybody just stop voting for Chris. Oh, man. <laughs> I have three that I really want what to use. What if we do a three for? Yeah. Numbers have come in. We've done a lot of uh, study groups. Yeah. And uh, what's really oh, we're, what's really hot right now is Atlantis. Shit. Yeah. Cryptozoology. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we but uh, we got a lot of funding coming in from the government for us to do something educational. So we got to do a shocking educational film about okay. Atlantis. What, what is crypto, What is cryptozoology? Like Bigfoot. Yeah. Welcome to <laughs> Beyond. Castle, Frankenstein. Last day of the body freaks. <laughs> I present to you, Mark, the chase for the skull at the center of the earth. Wait, what? Mark, the chase for the skull at the center of the earth. <laughs> okay. I see the cold. Man, that's right there. Sorry. I love how you managed to stretch the four cards into like 20 words. <laughs> So let me present. This is gonna be a fun movie for the kids. Uh, 
oozing crimson giant leeches a go go. <laughs> I drew to bring myself back up to ten. Now, with you guys, we can make Mixed Up Hercules Invasion 2. That's the cool there. That's dope. I'd give you Future Rocket Ship Zombie Thunder. I give you the Invisible Mars Mole. A bowl of love. Mole. Mole? Mole. Invisible Mars Mole. A bowl of love. Carnival. Alien 2000. That's like two, but with three extra zeros on the back. Yeah, so you can yep, charge yep, them yep. three times as much. <laughs> all right, all right, I got you. So I want you to form up a movie about space, about sports mummies on motorcycles. All right, all right. <laughs> sports mummy on motorcycles. Okay. <laughs> what are the people to do with this with this rogue mummy riding motorcycles everywhere? But the sad thing about it is that it came from people. Mm. Missile to destroy crawling evil. This is the story of Count Bat, uh, troll giant. Oh, oh, a giant among trolls. Yeah, no, I, I, I can, I can feel His it. His name was Count Bat. All right, so uh, I've been. Uh, clearing out one of the studios that we used from our last movies, we got lots and lots of Nazi uniforms, so I want us to make something for Nazis. Alright. Um, but we've, we've also got to get sexy babes. Gotcha. And, uh, you know what? We need a, we need a uh, sci-fi twist. Let's run some time travel. That's what I'm thinking. Tad Johnson is a secret agent, but his German heritage has led him down the wrong path. I hate Johnson, a very German name. Yes. <laughs> It's on his mother's side. Shut up. Yes, I'm wrong. Janssen. 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 <laughs> He's gone too deep in his deep cover operative agency, working for the Nazis to uncover the secret of sexy beach parties. <laughs> and they've sent their top assassins through time to hunt him down. He is the beach party fugitive agent. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. I see your demands. I can meet them, Herr Tom. <laughs> Mine commandant. <laughs> I'm gonna be real fuzzy date. That means careful with what I say so I don't get put into the gulag, the, the, the cooler, the the, the um the jail machen. <laughs> <Jail mocking. laughs> alright, alright. Now I know you wanted you wanted Nazis and time travel and you wanted sexy babe, so what if I told you I had a story? Oh my god! I just about saw... the frozen colossal Catwoman crater. <laughs> All right, they're frozen in time. They're giant Catwoman. That's sexy, and they're in a crater, a Nazi crater. <laughs> it's in the shape of Nazis. <laughs> no, not a swastika. Not like the SS skull is no, just in the shape of the Nazi. Nazi that's been planted on the ground. It's like bah! How do we know he's a Nazi when you can just tell him? You can see by the shape. <laughs> no, no, no. Be, I'm be, sorry, be, I know you said a bunch of funny stuff, but I was mesmerized by this title. <laughs> Frozen, colossal, cat women crater. <laughs> Alright, look, that's, that's, that's good. That, that's good, Chris, but... Alright, so, our, our hero. Our hero jumps through the prototype Nazi time portal during World War II and finds himself on a secret Nazi base. Get, get, me, get me on this, on the moon. And you know what? It's only crewed by these beautiful Aryan supermodels who are all clones of each other. We, we gotta find twins. No, no, we gotta find quadruplets. As many quadruplets as we can. But here's the thing. Like all of the same quadruplets? Yeah, you know, you know, something like that. And, but here's the thing, though. They don't want to be Nazis anymore. But someone among them, amongst all these identical... Clone Nazi women uh -huh. is killing him off because they don't want them to defect from the future Reich. So he must solve the mystery. What title is going to change? Of the together? Psycho Moonbase Clone Strangler. <laughs>
<laughs> Fucking clone stranglers. <laughs> I win. I, 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 I will accept the award from the Academy Shit. now. You know what they say? You see a clone strangler, you punch him in the face. Fucking clone strangler. It's totally useful. The crack is him. Yeah, probably several times. I don't know. I hate clone stranglers. <laughs> Such a <laughs> Tough Chris, please. You know, my brother said he was going to get into clone strangling. I disowned him. <laughs> I'd punch him in the face for being a dirty, stinking clone strangler. <laughs> oh, I blacked out for half a second. You're, you're making him sick, man. Uh, sick like a fucking clone strangler. <laughs> 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 All right, Tom. I, this, ain't, this ain't no laugh from now. Hold on, I'm gonna gather up all my cards that I just threw all over the crowd. I lost my brother to a clone strike. I lost my clone to a clone strike. So, uh, is it safe to say that I think I won this round? Three, two, one. Uh, what are you, some kind of fucking clone strike? <laughs> Tom, give me my cards. Oh, I, I, you, gotta, you gotta drop that. Every single time you're near a microphone in the panel room now. <laughs> so, what are you up to now, Derek? There are even like close to <laughs> <laughs> My mission now is to find the guy who made this game and send him this video <laughs> so he knows this is what he has done. That he's a fucking clone strangler. <laughs> I'm amazed I managed to talk. Okay, we got our theme. Hang on. Alright. Okay. HP uh, Lovecraft. Oh no. Alien okay. Invasion. Doomsday Machine. Oh, I, I I know the kids. They they want they want their little crafty horror. Yeah. They want the alien invasion and they want the doomsday machine. What if we just mushed it all together? All right. I don't got to explain this. It's a doomsday machine of HP Lovecrafty and alien invasion. It's the final deadly laser phase. <laughs> what? The truth of the matter is that there are many terrible, terrible hidden secrets in this world. Things we cannot see, like magnets. We cannot observe magnets, thus they must be terrifying. They come from the great beyond. Magnets, they have invaded our Earth before, my friends. They have come into our waters from alien waters, far away and horrible. And they brought with them the terrible machines. And those machines influence the magnetic waves. And those machines are used by their strange cults. Thus I give to you... The Magnetic Sea Monster Tiki Cult! <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I like tikis. Everyone does. I like magnets. Me too. Alright then, well, I broke our audience. Yeah. Thank you. I'll accept my Academy Award now. Island of the Lost Eyes. <laughs> Do you even have a premise? Walk out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> out of the room. <laughs> it just might be. just walks in. Island of the Lost Eyes. Drops the mic, walks out. <laughs> it's the gravitas. <laughs> Island. <laughs> of the lost, lost eyes. Or, uh, I'm not going to try to explain how it has well, to deal with What's your premise? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, who do you want your lead actor to be? Read the cards. Actually, I imagine this is how Michael Bay pitches his films. <laughs> he walks into a room, Transformers. Ugh. Three, two, one, back. What, really? <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it was the hooks put in that deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that it, was the craziest you, gamble. It, it, I can't it, it believe it. It was just like works. you had such confidence <laughs> yeah. in it. And you were I so just, committed. I, I was more than convinced that I would get a good film out of Island for the Lost Eyes. Today's winner was Derek. Hi. My name is Derek the Bard, and I am neither a voodoo reefer werewolf nor a clone strangler. The Race War of the Satan Tomatoes! Well, that happened. <laughs> I can't see it now. <laughs> okay. Big Mike, no, I, have a question. I, I have a question. First of all, big fan. Thank you. <laughs> Second of all, are you a clone strangler? <laughs> Wait, there's some kind of fucking clone strangler in here? It's so, like funny if he says it! It's so like it makes sense. Like, there's this anger and vice about it! Like he's this long 
history of battling clone stranglers. It's like I lost my first girlfriend to a clone strangler. I just, like she didn't die, she just left me for him. I, I, I was hearing like this weird bigotry coming out of his mouth. Like, I used to be trying like, the clone it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily a history nerd, he just doesn't trust him. No, I don't fucking trust clone stranglers. I'm sorry I ever doubted that this was going to be an amazing thing to record. You know what you know, clone stranglers do? They strangle fucking clones! Some, sometimes to death! Hey, can I just show what I had? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. just just because I had this and I was gonna play it no matter what the hell the setup was. Deep against destination children. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go deep against those children. Yeah.